Okay, in this video, we got another tactics slash what if situation. What if the enemy is trying to surround you, trap you, and annihilate you according and search operation or a search and destroy operation, depending on the era that something like this would be launched in. Now, our situation. The enemy believes there is a guerrilla unit operating in this area, but they don't know for sure where. Because they don't know the exact location, they can't just start going in, launching airstrikes and dropping artillery. So they need to find that guerrilla force. Now, so they launch their search and destroy operation to try to find, fix, and destroy the terrorists, a.k.a. you, the gorilla. Now, you're in there and you find out this is being launched. The enemy's deploying. They're moving in. What do you do? Really, there's two choices you have. One, avoid contact and slip away. And the other is fight your way out to attack. Now, these guys here should have, in order for something like this to be possible, they should have sentries, LPOPs, farther out, watching for enemy approach. Now, those LPOPs may not necessarily be personnel from this unit. They could be locals that are helping out. It could be, you know, Farmer Joe and that stuff working in his fields over here and he uses his uh, kid on a bicycle as his messenger. Farmer Joe sees something, passes the uh, message to the kid. The kid goes off to a closer in LPOP that is being run by this unit and informs them of what's coming. Now you're going in order to make the decision as to what you're going to do you're going to need to know intel you're going to need to know as much info as you can on these but your time is short it's going to be really limited you need to find out what direction the enemy's coming from and generally what's their size and if they're bringing some type of heavy equipment they're bringing vehicles you know generally how many vehicles what type not just, well, they're coming in with 10 trucks from over here. Well, what type of trucks? Are they just empty cargo trucks, which would be used to haul away prisoners, or are they gun trucks? Well, they're bringing in armor. Well, what type of armor? Is it an armored personnel carrier? Is it a tank? Is it an infantry fighting vehicle? You know, is it a BTR, a striker? What are they coming up with? And generally on the size, you know, you have a company size element coming from here, company size element here, maybe you got a platoon size element over here. Now, over in this direction on this, we have difficult terrain or hard terrain. We have not gotten word of the enemy coming through this area. It could be that our LPOP just hasn't located them yet. Or it could be that LPOP has been wiped out. But the commander here needs to gather the information and think it through. He needs to decide, does he have time to deploy? Or does he only have time to set charges on stuff he cannot take with him and break into small teams and filter out? The Viet Cong, a very common tactic for them, was if they were getting surrounded in a search and destroy operation like this and they did not have the time and the enemy coming in was just too strong for them to engage they would break down into teams of as small as just one person but average the team was two to three people the largest they would go would be a squad when they're trying to break out of an area and then granted, they would also, if they had it in the area, jump into tunnels and hide and let the enemy pass over top. Now, this commander has gotten sufficient notice that the enemy is approaching. 
He knows if he just slips away, the enemy could say that they were found and wiped out. And the local population may look down on the guerrillas for not engaging, saying that uh, they're cowards who ran away from a fight. So this commander is determined he's going to fight his way out. <coughs> the force up here is too large. The force down here is too large. The terrain back here is too rough. We don't know if an enemy force is back there. If he tries pulling back this direction to try to escape, he could get back here and find out the enemy is already using the edge of this hard terrain as their uh, engagement area and you're coming in and you get wiped out in there. You get fixed trying to fight your way in and then these guys just quickly surround you and take you out. Over here, we have about a platoon. We don't have that much over here. Now, this commander has already gone through and he's figured out areas earlier before this operation was even begun. If he had to pull a defense, if he had the time, where could he set up for a good kill zone? Now he's found a location up in here that he can set up. Well, probably multiple locations, but he's got one in, in mind that he's going to use. So he moves everyone out, gets them online here, and he sets up his hasty ambush. These guys are still moving in here. You know, he might leave a small team back here just to uh, harass them, try to draw them, these guys out this way. But he's set up over here. This is where his main force is. These guys walk right into the kill zone. Now, as soon as these guys would be in the kill zone, the ambush opens up and it must be extremely violent. Masked fires, taking them out as fast as possible. You're trying to wipe them out. And then, you grab what you can as you're pushing through, making your escape. You cause the enemy considerably casualties, hopefully wipe these guys out. So you've stood, you fight, and now you shift it out. And then these guys, they might try shifting after you. Or maybe they'll just pull back and consolidate because the fire over here was so hard maybe they are trying to figure out well was this a larger group than we thought it was but after you break out here I would possibly disperse or move out of the engagement area let them keep searching in here you move to another area of operations Consolidate and then continue on with what you were doing, causing the enemy grief. Now, for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember Essayons.